Well, how good are you on cash right now? I'm just asking because you might hit your ATM pretty soon. That's all I'm saying. And you better do it until probably next Tuesday before then, because that's when your ATM could be at the mercy of cyber thieves. That is the day the software that powers a lot of these machines changes. Microsoft's operating system goes away. And let's just say a lot of banks still aren't ready with any software to replace it. Vulnerable. That's a prime target for bad guys wanting to steal your cash. What to do? Let's ask Gold Coast Bank CEO Joseph Perry. By the way, if you hear that sound as you approach your ATM, that's probably a, a good, good signal that you've got problems. Um, what, 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 what happens Tuesday? What's the magic of Tuesday? The magic of Tuesday is if the banks don't get on the stick, the consumers are going to suffer because the security of the software that they're putting in now the Windows 7 software will prevent the hackers from getting in but if there's old software the XP software out there the hackers are waiting. So that phase is out and you and and then the, the, it's up to the bank who, who've known this like you've known this. Yeah we've prepared. known this for a while. So you, the new security so should be already checked in ready to go but a lot of banks it's not ready to go so what's gonna happen? So what'll happen is they're at tremendous risk to be hacked where where the hackers can get into the ATMs not only we're not only talking about transfers of dollars and money we're talking about information hacking and they can get into the ATMs as soon as you put your card in they'll take all the information well, how are they doing card. it Am I, should I be looking behind my shoulder here? very close to it they're sitting you got hackers sitting in dark rooms with computers and they hack into the software they're able to get online for, via the XP software go in and take the information so in other words then you get through as you regular withdrawal and some will come up on the same no funds available exactly worst case scenario worst case now those poor people are they protected in that event well they're protected but the issue is they'll get their money eventually but they might have but to wait. right now they might have to wait. So you what talk do you to do? Somebody. How am I to know? Now I know you have this software set up to replace this, so you're not vulnerable, or any of your bank Absolutely. ATMs are vulnerable. How do I know mine is? If I was, if I was a consumer, or which I am, but if I, I would go to my bank immediately and ask them if they've changed over. Well, from all the, the big software. money center banks, do they have it? They, they have it, but they haven't, they haven't accomplished this yet. So if a mine, a, let's say hypothetically mine is Fred's Bank and Hoagie Service. Okay. That, that it's chances are they might not. Absolutely. Okay. So uh, th th all this has to be in place Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Banks and a lot of your colleagues have had ample warning for this. And it takes time what's, to put in. Absolutely. So what's your bet, Joe, about how many? What percentage of the industry is ready? I would say, I would say 25% is a lot of the industry that would be ready. That means 75 percent. 75 percent is not. So so wait, wait, wait. so their ATMs are vulnerable to hackers come Tuesday. Absolutely, because the amount of ATMs out there is so great that they would have had the banks would have had to have started months back preparing and changing over the software. Because it's not something that you do So this do is like overnight. another Y2K thing. They had to Absolutely. be ready for this. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's an issue. Now, there's one bright spot in all this is that a majority of the community banks, which are like us in our size, we use software, IT software outsiders. So what, what happens is... We contract with huge companies, and we have a right. huge company that has been guiding us through this change. And they've started, they've sent us information way back. Right, right. So that the community banks, once again, are probably your best protected bet. This is scary stuff. Very, very. Joe wants you to know that he's handing out free money, though, next week. But, uh, he's not really. I just want to catch him off guard. Um, Joe, thank you very, very much. Um, and he has been warning about this. And to be fair, we've been trying to warn you about this. Just know that it's out there, and you should check with your bank whether they're ready.